Errol, what are people saying? Because I know that in our newsroom, mm -hmm. everyone was just glued to the TV screens. And uh, newsrooms and homes around the world. That interview the Heaney family did as part of their damage control they're now having to do because of what took place yesterday. The general attitude toward this family has turned from one of concern to scorn. In fact, many late night comedians in the United States noted that shift, including The Daily Show's Jon Stewart. Balloon Boy is safe. So all that heartache that he put his parents and the, really the entire nation through, uh, for nothing. <laughs> Let's get Balloon Boy! It turned so quickly, he's safe! Get him! But there's something else that's changing attitudes as well. Another um, incident that happened while they were making the interview rounds was the father, Richard Heaney, asking his son what happened yesterday. His son had a very strange response. Take a listen. Did you hear us calling your name at any time? Mm -hmm. You did? You did? And why didn't you come out? Um, you guys said that um, we did this for the show. Did it for oh a show. Everyone's wondering what exactly did he mean? The family says what he meant to say was it's something to do with all what the media attention. And in fact, this morning when he was pressed on that question on other news programs the family has been on, he threw up. He felt sick when he was asked about that question. That has many people wondering why was he sick? Um, was this a hoax? Balloon Boy, the world has dubbed him, mm -hmm. was a top trending topic on Twitter when this all went down. Let me read you a few quick tweets just from the past few minutes. One person saying, Balloon Boy stunt is a hoax. Folks, um, shame on parents if it's true. Poor six-year-old boy so upset he's sick on national TV watching this story and unfold. Another person saying, is it really possible for a six-year-old to commit such a massive hoax? Websites are now making money off of this. There's a website called oh. Zazzle.com selling mugs, t-shirts, and ties. That was quick. With quotes like, uh, save Balloon Boy, go Balloon Boy, go, and it's hard out there for a blimp. Now, to prove all of this wasn't a hoax, the family just released another video showing what appears to be the balloon taking off yesterday. And if you take a look at it, you can see Richard Heaney here with the balloon. One of the sons is taping, and his wife apparently was supposed to be holding the tether. She did not have the tether um, next to her hand, so it lifted off. You can hear him swearing. They say later on, one of the, you see him there kicking one of the chairs. There's one of the sons. They say they didn't, one of the sons later on said that perhaps Falcon was inside and that they weren't aware of it. That's where this all started. The world now saying, here's a family that appeared on a reality show twice. They chase storms, have their own website. They have their own family videos all over YouTube. And I report perhaps what they're really seeking is more media attention. Okay, now I'm totally confused because my understanding of it when the story happened was that it was the little boy Falcon and his brother that were outside and then he climbed out and the parents were nowhere to be found and that's how this unfolded. But now we're seeing video that just seems to contradict everything. There's new bits of evidence and now what the sheriff is doing is they don't believe it's an absolute hoax but because of the interviews and the child being pressed on the question, what did you mean you did it for the show? They are now going to re-interview the family and look into that possibility today. But the point to be made right now, no bills have been handed out to anyone, no charges have been filed, and many people are questioning what the next move should be. But boy, those bills are in the mail, they and there's a lot of questions to be answered. <laughs> they certainly are.